Welcome to another video journal for Sound Library. Good weather today and I'm excited about that because today I'm getting to record one of these. I took a bit of planning to organise today. Not every day I get a chance to run around chasing a tank around a field. We are down at Cape Shank, which is about an hour south of Melbourne on the Mornington Peninsula at one of the regular events organised by the Victorian Military Vehicle Corps. This group dedicates themselves to restoring and maintaining old military vehicles. And on days like today, they get to take them for a drive. This is a great opportunity to capture some pretty rare sounds. It's also going to be a bit of a challenge to work out the best way to record some of these vehicles. The biggest challenge was trying not to be everywhere all at once. If I reacted every time I heard an engine start, I would spend more time running back and forth than capturing useful material. To that end, I picked the biggest tank and started there. The big question is, where on something like this do you put microphones? Um, I'm standing above, well, the engine, put on the exhaust pipe. I'm actually going to attach them up here. This is a bit of trial and error. I've never done this before. Um, frankly, I think this thing's going to be loud enough that it wouldn't really matter where I put them. Um, but if I put them on the turret, then hopefully I'll actually capture some of the sound of the turret when it rotates as well. Uh, caterpillar tracks, which I want to get, I'll probably capture later on. And I can probably capture that just by walking alongside. So at the moment, this is setting up the microphones. Uh, I've got the small little DPA ones, which can handle very loud sounds, which they're going to need to with this thing. Um, and we see how that goes. The various Jeeps and armoured cars were fun, and I captured various bits of material. Well, let's not kid ourselves, I was here for the tanks. And when they started up, everything else took a back seat. I learned today that you can tell which way a tank is facing even if you can't see it. If it's facing away from you, all you're going to hear is the engine. If tank's coming towards you, however, you can hear the distinctive sounds of the tracks. That must have been a fairly terrifying sound to hear on the battlefield. I'm going to have to organise another trip out here. I've got plenty of engine sound for the tanks, I'd like to capture some more material for the Caterpillar tracks. Overall, I'd say today was a great success. I got some really good material. I learned some important lessons about recording very loud vehicles. I learned again that I need to remember to wear more sunscreen. Now all I need to do is find a tank that has a working gun.